Imagine this for a moment. You are about to close a very important deal with your potential client and in the end you are now handing over your business card to your client and they just look at it and see that the email ID that you have mentioned here is like your name at gmail.com or maybe your name at yahoo.com or maybe any other generic email ID. Now put yourself in place of this client. Which email ID looks more professional? Some random name at gmail.com or yahoo.com or mail at yourbrandname.com I'm sure you would agree with the later one. A generic email address is good for your personal use but it surely lacks personality, brand and reliability when it comes to business deals. Once you have your branded email ID mentioned on your business card, it shows that you are serious about your business and you have invested at least some money to create the basic branding of your business. But as a beginner, it's also understandable that you don't want to invest too much money in buying these email subscriptions. So here's the solution. You don't have to lose your generic email ID that you've been using from a very long time. You can still use the same and send and receive emails on a custom branded email ID that you can use for your business purposes and all that can be done for free of cost. So let's dive in and I'll show you everything step by step. My name is Ankit Sharma and you are watching Brainstorm Force YouTube channel, the makers of the Astro theme. Now before we begin, let me clarify that the custom email address or the branded email address that we are going to use to have that you at least need to buy a domain. So in our case, we have already purchased our domain and hosting from Hostinger. Now the user interface for you might look different. You might be using some other website for registering your domain or hosting but the process remains the same so this is what we are going to do first we are going to create a new email id using the back end of our domain or hosting registrar and then we are going to set an email forwarder so that all the mails coming on this new brand email id will get forwarded to our generic email inbox and that inbox could be like your gmail id or your yahoo id or whatever email service you are using this is going to work for everyone so with this all the business emails that you will receive on your new custom branded email id will now land in your generic email inbox after this we are also also going to add this new brand email ID in our generic email inbox and see how we can use this to reply to the business emails that we are getting so that you will not just be able to receive the emails you will also be able to reply these emails using the same business email ID and all this will be done inside your generic email inbox so now let me show you how everything is done so here we are in our website hosting panel and we have already registered a domain and here we have a separate email section and this is the domain that we have registered and in order to set up our branded email IDs for this domain we need to click on manage from here so let's click on this so with this hosting plan we have free emails as well so we are going to choose the free plan from here and now we just need to enter the details for our email ID that we want to create so let's say we want to create mail at maelstromforce.com the domain that we have registered and after that we need to enter the password so let's enter a password as well and then click on create so now our custom email id with our branded domain is created so we are done with our step number one now once we have created our custom email address we now come back here in our email section and we click on manage once again and now we have a completely different dashboard here to manage all the email addresses that we have created. And now our next step is to create an email forwarder so that if we get any email on this newly created email address, it will get forwarded to our Gmail account or any generic email account that you might be using. So here on the left hand side, we have an option for email forwarders. So let's click on this. And in order to create a new forwarder, we need to click on create a forwarder. And here we can see we already have our email address showing here. And just below that, we need to enter the email ID where we want to forward all the emails. So let's enter the email ID here. And if you want, you can turn on this option to keep a copy of email on this server as well. So we will leave it as it is and then click on create. And here in the manage forwarder section, we can see we have a new email forwarder. And right now the status is waiting confirmation. So in order to confirm this email forwarder, we need to log in in our email account on which we want to forward our emails. And here is our verification email. So let's click on this. And now we just need to click on verify in order to verify our email forwarder. And that's it. We have now successfully added an email forwarder 
on our branded email ID. If you go ahead and refresh this page, here we can see this is our branded email address. We have forwarded it to this particular email ID and now the current status is active. So which means that whenever any email is sent on this email ID, it will get forwarded to our email address that we have added here. So let's go ahead and try it once. So right now we are inside a separate Gmail ID and we are trying to send a mail to our newly created branded email address. So let's give it a subject and with our sample mail body here, we just go ahead and click on send mail. So let's go ahead and check if we got the mail or not. And here in our inbox, we can see we got the mail. So if we click on this, we can see this is the same email that we have sent. And if we click on the details, here we can see this email is sent to our branded email address that we have created. So now we are done with half of the process. If anyone sends an email to our newly created branded email address, it will get forwarded to our generic email inbox. But we don't want to stop here. We want to reply all these business emails with our branded email address. So for that, we need to do some settings in our Gmail inbox or whatever email inbox you are using. So in this case, we will go to settings and click on all settings. And here we have an option for accounts. Let's click on this. And here we have an option to send email as. So with our default email ID, we can also use an additional email address to reply our mails. So here we are going to add this custom branded email address that we have just created. So let's click on this and here on the next screen, we just need to enter few details. Now this one might look a little bit technical, but you can find all these details inside your Hostinger panel itself. If you need any help, you can contact your hosting provider as well. So here we need to enter SMTP server. So here is the SMTP server details. We can copy that and paste it here and change the port name to 465. And for the username, we are going to enter the full email address and then we need to enter the password as well. And make sure you select secure connection using SSL and then click on add account. And with that message, we have successfully added a new email address, which we can use to reply our incoming emails, which is our custom business email. So now we can close this window. And just for the last step, we now need to verify that we have added this new email address. And here is the confirmation mail. We just need to click on this link here and then click on confirm. And just to verify, we can now go back to settings, click on all settings. And here in the account section, here we can see we have our personal email ID. Along with that, we also have our branded email address here. And just to make sure that we never mess up between these two email IDs while replying any email, make sure you select this option here. Reply from same email address, the message was sent to. So this will make sure that you always reply your personal emails with your personal email ID and your professional emails with your branded email address. So this is how we can get a free business email address and configure that in our personal email inbox. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and make sure you share it with your friends and community. And now once you are done setting up with your branded email address, I'm sure you now want to create your professional business website as well. So for that, make sure you watch this video right here to learn about how you can create some amazing looking business website. And for more WordPress videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.